Wiki is dead. Long live. Big, big news for 2023. Wiki is going. Amazingly, with Microsoft not doing anything to improve Wiki since Teams release back in 2017, it's now decided to kill it off. So stay tuned for all the news on that and my take on it as well as what Microsoft are replacing it with. I've got new videos coming out on Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Teams every Tuesday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever they come out. I'm Gavin Jones. I am founder and director at MeTime, where we help people save time at work to do more of the things they love, increase sales and well-being for your organization. If you want help doing that, then stick around. We've got some free resources that might help or check out the comment or the description below if you don't want to stay around that long. Microsoft announced via Message Center, if you're an IT admin, you would have got this, that Wiki is being retired from Teams. Microsoft have just not done anything to Wiki since Teams started. It was great in that it was quite quick and easy to capture notes and it was already there right in Teams. It had great integration with Teams because you can chat about a specific section and that pops up into your conversations thread and you can start a threaded conversation about Wiki. You can out mention people from Wiki. And if you've seen any of my other videos, because the Wiki ones were bizarrely the most popular ones, because presumably Microsoft doesn't talk about Wiki too much. If you've seen some of those, you'll know that the other option to take notes in Teams is OneNote, which has its benefits and drawbacks, as you can see in this video here or this video here. So Microsoft are getting rid of Wiki rather than doing anything to it and replacing it with OneNote. You can already use OneNote if you want. You can go and add a OneNote tab into your channel and that's a shared OneNote that the entire team can see. And not sure what I think about this development from Microsoft so far. They haven't done anything in OneNote to replace some of the functionality in Wiki, it seems like, at least not from this communication. So they haven't got any app mentions in OneNote. OneNote still doesn't have any great version control like you would have in any other Office app. So Word, PowerPoint, Excel, or even into a SharePoint list now where you can app mention and you've got modern comments and you've got a version control. None of that is available in OneNote yet at the time of recording and it's not included in this communication. So I'm not sure if Microsoft have got something else planned for OneNote to improve it, to take on some of the functionality for Wiki or they're just getting rid of Wiki and they don't really care. So OneNote is great. It's a lot more robust than Wiki. And uh, in my previous videos, I recommended using OneNote if you need to something that you, know, you really need to keep and it's business critical because it's a lot, seems a bit more robust and has more functionality in OneNote. But with more functionality comes more complication. Main one being that when you open a OneNote in Teams, the notebooks and sections and pages are all collapsed by default. So you can't see that there's anything else there. So if you're a new normal person doing a normal job and someone tells you to click on this OneNote, you go into it and all you see is the default first page. You can't see there's anything else, any other information there. I mean, it's only a click to expand it and go and see, but still, I'm not sure if Microsoft are going to fix that, but that one little change, if anyone from Microsoft in the development team is listening, would make the user experience way, way better for people that aren't tech savvy, that just want to get their job done and need to go into OneNote to go and find some stuff. So back onto their communication. So we're scrolling through their screenshots here. So if you go into Wiki, presumably starting from mid-Feb, it's going to say your Wiki tabs are going to go away in April 2023. You can export all your content to notes tab which I'm, if you've already got one note there i'm not sure where it's going to go you might not have called it notes tab so i don't know if notes tab is going to pop up for you which might add a bit of confusion because you have one instance of one note across your entire team and have different views of the same one note in different channels or you can have multiple instances of one note within the same team which then you can't get back to another one note once you're in that one note because it's a different workbook so like I say, more powerful, slightly more complicated. So then if you do click, presumably get details, it's gonna take you through a wizard that's gonna export your notes from Wiki into OneNote for you. It's unclear whether you need to do this per channel. So in the previous companies I've worked with, they've got wikis in every channel, obviously, until we get this, until it's released. I'm not sure if that's gonna export all of your wikis into OneNote, into the same OneNote, or if you need to go through every single channel wiki and click export one by one and that's going to go into 
either the same OneNote, which I doubt, or to separate OneNote, which is going to be potentially more confusing. But at least it is exporting it for you. So you presumably you click export to notes. It takes a bit of time to export and then click finish when you're done. And then it takes you into the notes tab, which again, we're not sure whether that's going to be your existing OneNote if you've already got one set up or a brand new one. Then it's going to save the content of each wiki page as a separate page inside one section. And then everyone in the channel, it says, well, everyone in the team actually can edit the content there just like you do with wiki, but you do miss app mentions uh, per page or per section. You can copy a link to a page and then stick that into the conversations or posts tab, whatever Microsoft have chosen to call it at the time that you're watching this. And it does take you directly into that page now, which it didn't used to do when Teams first came out. So that's a good advancement. It used to jump you out into either your OneNote desktop or into the web version. So now it keeps you in Teams and takes you to that page. So it's a bit better at deep linking through Teams, which is good for all of us. And then once you've exported it, it says that then it keeps a read-only version of your wiki tab. But it says, you know, just in case you need to keep anything whilst you check that it's copied over effectively. And then it's going to say that you can go and delete it if you want. So just right click wiki and then select remove and then it's gone forever. Wiki is dead. Long live OneNote. So like I say, it'll be interesting to see how Microsoft actually copes with this change in implementation, whether they build some missing functionality into OneNote in Teams how you know the detail of, is it going to export all your wikis at one time is it going to move it into one OneNote workbook or one OneNote workbook per wiki which i think is going to be pretty confusing for people to be honest because there's so much stuff in OneNote and if you've already got OneNote in there so in previous companies i've worked in and been a consultant for you got you end up with wiki and OneNote used for slightly different things and then now if you've got a OneNote, usually what OneNote for the entire team across channels, if this is now setting up a separate OneNote, you're probably going to end up losing stuff, which is one of the biggest downsides of Teams, although of all the benefits usually outweigh it. If you get your structure of Teams right, if left to people's own devices, you usually end up losing stuff. One of the biggest complaints about Teams that I hear sooner or later is that people end up losing things. Either you're overusing chat or you have too many small teams. And if you now adding one note into that complexity, you might end up with too many one notes and end up losing your notes somewhere if Microsoft doesn't do this transition particularly well. So if you need more help getting some ideas about how to structure teams and get the most out of Microsoft 365 for your organization with the goal of saving people meaningful hours per week in time wasted, then check out our free course linked in the description below. It takes you through some ideas, bite-sized videos. If you need any more help, then feel free to book a call and I'm happy to help get your best next step towards modern working for your organization. So if you like this video, before you leave, remember to click the thumbs up. It really does help us in the algorithm. If you really liked it, consider buying some beer in the link below or using the super thanks just under the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. There's one coming out every Tuesday. And thank you for watching so far. See you in the next one.